Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Power Query to create classic count ifs, sum ifs, average ifs, max ifs, and the main ifs calculation. So let's dive in. Now, this is going to be an interesting video, so I'm going to encourage you to pay attention as we move along. So in our data set, we have this sys record which is officially stored as an excel table and in the table design contextual one tab i have given fcs data as the meaningful table name so what i'm going to do is to get this data set into the power query so to do that come to the data type of the ribbon and under the get and transform data group click on from table slash range all right so our data set is now in the power query editor so i'm going to perform some little step first and foremost now first i want to give proper date data type to this date column so right click and choose change type and i want dates now it's going to prompt whether to add a new step or replace actually i want to replace the current step thereafter i want to duplicate f6 data table so right click and choose duplicate now in the duplicate i don't want this date column so i'm going to choose remove after i click on right click so i don't need this unit price and the sales amount column so hold down the shift key click on the sales amount right click and choose remove columns now we have the payment and the brand columns now i want the unique record so i'm going to right click and choose remove duplicates so they have the same size eight rows in each of the payment and the brand now because when i'm going to write the m code i don't want to confuse us with payments in this now let me just quickly rename this i'm going to call this one results table and i click enter so i don't want to confuse us with the payment in this results table query with a payment in the FCS data. So because of that, I'm going to come back here and just put in you to serve as unique payment. And I'm going to do the same thing for the brand. I'm going to call this on unique brand. That's fine. Next, I need to reference this F sales data table. So to do that, click on the add column in the general, click on the custom column. Now in the custom column, I want to deal with the count ifs. So I'm going to call this on count ifs. Now, in the custom column formula, I'm going to just type in F6 data, which is the name of you want to reference. So I'm going to call this F sales. Now I'm going to click on OK. So we have the table in each of the rows. OK, let me just scroll up so they can see what we're doing. So these are all the columns. We have the dates all through to the sales amount column. Now what I'm going to do is actually I want to apply filter to this entire F sales data based on the unique payment and the unique brand now to do that i'm going to come to this edit click on this settings to put the custom column in the edit mode now in here i'm going to use a function called table dot select rows then open parentheses now this function selects the rows that meet the condition function now it requires two input parameters the table and the condition so this is going to be the table so i'm going to put in a comma now i'm going to indent in order for our formula to be readable now for the condition i'm going to create what is called a variable now in power code you can actually use whatever you want as your variable name you want to create so in this case i'm going to put the variable inside open and close parentheses i'm going to call it my v variable i can actually call it whatever you want that's fine close the parentheses now i'm going to use what is called the go to operator which is equal sign and greater than it is called the go to operator so i'm going to record this my variable i'm just type my variable okay now i'm going to open um square brackets now first and foremost let me just move this to the right so i actually want to point to the payment in the f sales data table so i'm going to type in carefully because this is you know case sensitive so you have to type it in proper close the square bracket so i'm going to check are you equal to the unique u payment in the result table so again open square bracket and i want to point to the u payment close the square bracket now since we are dealing with two condition which is the count ifs and the sum ifs and the rest i'm going to use the and function so i'm going to call this on my variable and again i want to open you know a square bracket now in this case i want to point to the many side of the brand in our f6 data so i'm going to type in brand close the square bracket and are you equal to the unique u brand in the results 
table this column here so you brand okay and then i can actually close off our table dot select row m function so when i click ok for now let's go through it now you can actually see that we have performed for the u payment and the brand i can actually see that this has been filtered we have the payment that's only skrill okay because we are currently in Rowan where we have skrill and under okay so this also under now that's fine so i'm going to put that in the edit mode once again now in the edit mode i want to point to I want to point to this unit column in our F sales data. So I'm going to put another square bracket and I'm going to type in units. Now this is also case sensitive. So I'm going to put that in the proper in the text. So close the square bracket. And when I click OK for now, so we have a list. So these are the list for each of the payments and the U brand. Now, finally, I'm going to open the formula once again and since we want to count if so i'm going to use a function called the list dot count okay press the tab key open parenthesis and then we can close the parenthesis for the list dot count and this is all we need to do we can see that no syntax error have been detected so i'm going to copy this because i'm going to use it again so click ok that's amazing so the count is the total number of units for payment that's equal to skrill and brand that equals to under is eight and that's beautiful now i'm going to come to the home tab and click on close i'm going to close and load so first and foremost i'm going to create a connection before i load to table so in the import data dialog choose only create connection and click ok because i don't want to load the two tables i only need the result table to be loaded into the worksheet so for this right click and choose load to and then we'll point to the table and we choose destination let me dump it in cell h1 and click ok oh that's amazing so let's quickly run our worksheet count ifs function so equal sign count ifs so for the criteria range one i'm going to point to the payment many side comma and for the criteria one i'm going to select the entire range comma and for the criteria range two i'm going to point to the brand many side in column c comma and for the criteria two i'm going to select this range i14 to i21 close parenthesis control enter oh that's amazing so we have the same so let me just sort this okay a to z okay so we have the same you know results we have you know 12 units for mastercard and limousine which is accurate let's check for web money we have 12 same thing accurate western union and bmw 11 oh that's beautiful now let's go ahead and create our sum ifs the average ifs and the rest in the power query and then we we'll load back to the excel sheet and then we create our sum ifs and the rest using the worksheet function. So I'm going to click on the okay. So what I'm going to do next is to click on add column and click on custom column. Now this is going to start the sum ifs. I'm going to call this one sum ifs. Now for the formula, I'm going to paste what I copied earlier on, and I need just little modification. Now in this case, I'm going to point to the sales amount column. So sales amount. So type that carefully. And I'm going to change this to list dot sum m function, and that's what I need to do. Copy this, Ctrl C, and click on OK. Oh, that's amazing! One more time, I'm cl click on custom column. Again, I'm going to call this one average ifs. And for the formula, I'm going to just delete this and use the av list dot average, and that's all. Click OK. That's beautiful. I'm going to click on this and choose the max ifs. I want to see the highest value based on the sales amount. Control V again. I'm going to call this on list dot max. Press the tab key. Click OK. And finally, I'm going to call this on the main ifs. Okay, main ifs. And for the formula paste and i'm going to rename this and call this on the main list dot main function and click okay okay i'm choose everything hold down the shift key 
from some ifs to this main ifs and I want to change the type and I want in this case let's use well, currency okay that's fine and for this I'm going to use a whole number data types but well, that's beautiful finally we can close and load to the Excel worksheet okay let's wait oh that's amazing so I'm going to close the queries and connection first and foremost and we have our data set control shift 4 to apply currency let's get rid of the decimals now i'm going to speed things up i'm going to copy this our cut control x paste here now let's quickly run our sum ifs using the worksheet function now the sum ifs requires the sum range let me move to the left so i'm going to select the menu side the column f comma and for the criteria range one i want to point to the column b menu side comma and for the criteria one this unique payment comma and for criteria range two the main side in column c the brand comma and for the criteria two the unique brand in i14 to 21 and that's all close parenthesis control enter oh that's beautiful so to split things up i'm going to just copy this and paste under average and replace this with equal sign average ifs control enter and for the max control v let's get rid of this sum and call this on the max ifs control enter and finally for the main ifs control v i'm gonna call this on equal sign main ifs okay main ifs and that's all so let's apply currency to be sure Control shift 4 that's amazing let's do the auto sum rather so alt equal sign and we can do the same thing here total okay and we can just use the alt equal also it's gonna work now that's beautiful and let's apply currency control shift 4 oh okay so you can actually see that we have the same result using the power query and the worksheet functions so this is essentially how we can use the power query to create what i call classic count ifs sum ifs average ifs max and the main ifs i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and consider subscribing thank you and bye for now cheers